Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this week's tutorial, I have a quick one, how to move the Divi blurb title above the image or move the image below the title, however you wanna look at it. Let's take a look at this. Here you can see the end result. So this is normal, you can see the title here and the image above it and the body text below. And then here is after we apply the tutorial the title is up above. Now, you may be wondering, you know, this is really easy. Well, it's not quite quite as easy as you would think because the title and the body text here are in one div and the image here is in another one. They're, so they're sibling divs. You can see that here. If you can uh, go in here, the inspector tool, you can see that there is ETPB main blurb image highlighted here. And then below that is the ETPB blurb container. So what we actually are doing is taking the title out of the one and placing it into the other. So it's not as easy as you would think of just changing the order with like some CSS flex or something like that, which would be very simple if they were in the same div, but they're not. So again, we're pulling it out and putting it in. So um, we will need jQuery for that. All right, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link come over here, you will need to come to the tutorial to copy the snippet. So it's a two-step process. We're adding a class right here. In fact, let's go ahead and do that now. We're adding this class, and then we're adding a jQuery snippet. So PA move blurb title is the class. You can copy that. You can see where we're putting it. Go over to your website. I'm going to redo this one here for you live. So I'm gonna open up the settings go into the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes toggle, and paste it right there. So you can see that is exactly what you need. So on this particular blurb module, the title will move up here when I add the code snippet and exit the page. So we've done this, the class. Let's move on to step two. We will be copying this little snippet of jQuery. And if you don't know where to put this, I have instructions here. You can put it in a child theme or you can put it directly into the Divi theme options. Um, I am going to just put it directly on the page just to show you quickly, but copy this, go over here. What I will do now is add a new row and a code module. So I will just paste that snippet there now it will be running on this page. So I've added the snippet of code in the jQuery and I've added the class. So I'm going to save my changes and exit the builder and we will see the result. And there you go. You can see that the title is above the image. And you may be asking why do this? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first thing that I would think of is just to keep everything together. You could use like a text module and then an image and then another text module. But if you're doing any sort of other effect, like maybe one of our other blurb tutorials where you need to use the blurb or you need to keep the items together, that way you can style the blurb in its entirety, then that would be a good use case for it. Because if you're just adding the things to the column, well then you've got to style the column. And then when you go to try to move things, it, you have to move them on, things like that. So there's reasons um, depending on what you're doing. You know, I, I saw this as a request somewhere. I forget which Facebook group and I just like to do every little thing that I see like that. And if you have ideas for future things, let me know. Um, I love these doing these things for you. So yeah, be sure to let me know. Um, best if you send me an email um, with those kind of things on our website, you can find our contact form. I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I said, we do this every single week, so you can subscribe, and this is the kind of thing you'll get every single week. All right, well, we'll see you all in the next video.